Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and in this video today we're going to be taking a look at some of the things that have been going on most recently with the Cardano ecosystem and of course the price appreciation of ADA. As we get into this video guys, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button, I really do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel then do subscribe tap the bell and select all notifications. And in doing so, you will not miss another Cardano update. Right, with all this out of the way, let's dive down into the desktop and start taking a look at what's been going on most recently with Cardano. And of course, do a little bit of technical analysis on ADA. Okay guys, so here we are with Cardano. And the first thing I really wanted to kind of just talk about was the unveiling of the new stable coin, right? So to further the growth of the Cardano network and ecosystem, Cardano's parent group IOG Input Output Global has released a new stable coin algorithm, DJED. Um, DJED stable coin um, will solve the most common issues of transparency, reserve, uh, reserves and liquidity. To guarantee its price stability, Cardano will leverage its up and coming smart contract functionality um, as mentioned in its recent uh, uh, basically blog post. Now, what's really interesting about this is uh, the Dijed is basically Egyptian for stability, which is fantastic. So obviously there's a, following the theme of Cardano, right? With Cardano, Ada, uh, you know, Gogan and the rest of them, there's a, a theme and a meaning behind everything. And with this particular algorithmic stablecoin, that's exactly what you get with the Egyptian meaning uh, of stability so really good to see that kind of flowing through the cardano ecosystem and continuing to do so and really sticking to that now the digit is a crypto backed algorithmic stablecoin contract that acts as an autonomous bank it operates by keeping a reserve on base coins uh, and minting and burning stable coins and reserve coins so um, again this is going to be looking pretty interesting stuff as we obviously start to see the smart contracts roll out um, in the coming I guess kind of weeks, right? And we're only a few weeks away from this. So obviously seeing this uh, stable coin on the Cardano ecosystem is gonna be absolutely critical. Um, and again, this gives us everyone a bit of an option, right? In terms of what they're going to be using on the Cardano ecosystem. There's gonna be multiple uses of this particular stable coin. So really excited for this one. And I really wanted to kind of just communicate this out to you guys. So you are aware of what is going on on Cardano and you know, what are the fantastic things that we might actually start to be able to utilize on the chain. now. The Cardano stablecoin will function similar to an autonomous uh, central bank-like contract. Uh, interestingly, the Dijed uh, won't be pegged to a single currency as long uh, as the blog post basically mentions. It can work with other currencies as long as there are oracles providing the contract with corresponding pricing indexes. Um, so really cool stuff. So again, I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail on this one, um, but this is another step further forward um, for basically Cardano, so it's fantastic to see. So let's actually take a look at what's been going on most recently with Cardano, because obviously we have started to see those all-time highs that we spoke about a couple of days ago. Yesterday, we finally hit all-time high. We broke a new all-time high today, just a few hours ago. So it seems pretty fitting that we should talk about the Cardano price appreciation with ADA. And now we, of course, so we are going to start things off by taking a look at that weekly view as we always like to make sure that we have that big overview of what is going on with Cardano. So let me just zoom out here so we can get a bigger view of what's going on here, right? So Cardano is paired to USDT in this analysis and we are using Binance as the data source as always. Um, so here we can see obviously the growth coming in from that stochastic relative strength index, something that we've been talking about for a while. We're actually about halfway through here now as we head towards the overbought area on the weekly. We can see that we finally got that close um, although it hasn't been a weekly close yet, so we're still waiting to close weekly above our 786. So if we are to do this and we are to continue the way that we have been over the next couple of days, sorry about that. I had to just turn off the Mac there for a second. So um, yeah, so basically as long as we get that weekly close candle just above this 786 area um, by the close of Sunday, we should be in a pretty good position here to start seeing the uh, you know true price appreciation continue into next week as well. Uh, if we do have a pullback over the weekend on ADA and we do slip below the 786, then that could obviously be uh, an interesting week ahead in a slightly different way. So uh, right now, obviously things are looking very, very positive, new all-time highs being set, and we want to see this continue, right? Um, so weekly close candle in this position is going to be critical for, for us in ADA. Now, as we talk about going up in price appreciation, we still have obviously the $7.22 price target, potentially pushing up to $10. And again, as we kind of spoke about in a couple of our other videos, although YouTube didn't send the notifications out, um, you know, we had the, the 
uh, CEO Ben Gertzel from Singularity Net um, for an interview. He was very interesting with the things he was talking about in terms of Solidity smart contracts and Haskell-based smart contracts and the Plutus system. Um, uh, basically, the, 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 this is actually really interesting things going on there, um, describing how important it is going to be for those smart contracts and once they actually hit the network. And Ultimately, talking to Ben about both Solidity and Haskell and the impacts of these, it's going to be interesting to see more and more businesses actually move over from the card uh, from the, from basically Ethereum over to the Cardano ecosystem and to basically build out more stabi- stable and, and increase the stability of their dApps. So one to watch out for because obviously the more businesses that come across, the higher the price appreciation of ADA will be as well. So um, really interesting things do lie ahead, guys, as we get into September and as we start to see more and more um, get built on the Cardano ecosystem. Now, again, $10 is the price expectation that I do have, but we could see this absolutely get smashed out of the park just based on more businesses actually moving over to a more stable environment like Cardano from Ethereum. And, you know, the, the promises after promises after promises around uh, making Ethereum more scalable, more cheaper and uh, you know, faster and, you know, failing to actually see this you know, at the moment, um, utilizing Ethereum is, is very difficult. It's very frustrating. I mean, I had several transactions fail on me yesterday, although I still had to pay the gas fees, right? So um, hundreds and hundreds of dollars to do simple transactions, just, you know, unnecessary, really, and specifically in 2021. And as we move into the next few years, even more so. So, yeah, I think um, it's going to be really interesting once Cardano has these smart contracts. And I think Ada is going to appreciate along with all of the dApps moving and migrating over to the ecosystem as well. Um, so on this weekly view, at the moment, nothing has changed yet. We have that $7.20 to to ten dollar range, and um, but I wouldn't be surprised if we do start to see that absolutely get nailed and then push much further ahead. Now, when we actually drop down into our daily view, this is where we get the Fibonacci retracement tool, which is how we get to that seven dollar twenty two range. Uh, obviously, the ten dollar range is just a, a nice number that I like to kind of pick out. Um, and obviously, we can see here that we hit a past the all time high today, uh, although we also got there yesterday. Um, and basically, now we are looking up that first price target. The first price target that we should want to be trying to aim for is $3.37. Okay, this is the next area of probably major resistance. And I say probably because this is just a Fibonacci retracement or a specifically the extension of the 1.618. This is going to be an area that is most likely going to be the resistance point as so many people in the space will be trading against the Fibonacci levels. This is an area that we're probably going to see some kind of resistance at. Um, so again, we'll probably find a few areas on here where we are trading around a little bit, find resistance, and then have a pullback. And now the pullback potentially could come down to the all-time high. Although actually when we go into our hourly, we can see that we've already actually back-tested on that area. And uh, that's looking pretty good as well. So again, this is going to be the first target right up here at $3.37. So that's going to be a good tell um, for Cardano. After that, we're talking about $4.84, $6.37. And of course, that's $7. 22 but again like i said you know depending on what goes on with smart contracts and uh, the amount of businesses that probably do want to actually have some form of control over their costs um, and of course um stability and uh, coding it wouldn't surprise me if we do actually have a very very good run now the other thing that's really important about the daily view is we were overbought for quite a portion of this run up here and we're talking about having that pullback, right? Um, it wasn't that long ago. I was saying, you know, everyone should be prepared for a bit of a pullback. We saw a three-day correction just here. This corrected our um, our stochastic relative strength index nicely, right? And then we started to see a three-day appreciation now. And um, so we started to see this growth back into this, um, this stochastic relative strength index, and it's doing really well right now, but plenty of room to grow back up into the overbought area. Um, so again, that three-day correction was all that was required here. Really back testing down on the 618 um, after getting rejected from the 786 area. Um, and again, looking really good now. So really good positive motion here on the, the daily chart. Good price targets of $3.37 being the next one that we should be really putting our phone focus on and as we go down into that hourly view right this is where we kind of uh, really have a look at what's going on in the kind of the nitty-gritty the right now here and now here we can see the all-time highs getting hit and we can also see a couple of really interesting things okay so basically we have uh, this area of resistance just getting hit here at two dollars 46 right and we're having a slight pullback and um, this happened yesterday and then obviously we had the basically going up setting a new all-time high 
um, here pretty much uh, at 1 a.m. Uh, UK time. So not really yesterday, but in the early hours of the morning. Um, and then obviously we had the pullback, right? The pullback coming in and then obviously taking out this area here. But then the back test. Now this back test was really interesting because this back test was not on the previous uh, or, or the all-time high that we just broke into, but in fact, the previous all-time high, right? So we had two wicks here wicking down to this area here, the back test of the previous all-time high being checked and tested. Um, so again, really interesting stuff as we kind of come across here and um, back testing on, on this area here with this particular wick here um, as well. So right now, everything is trading nicely at this point. We can see that we are nice and low on that stochastic relative strength index, um, meaning that we are looking now to continue the growth of ADA in the next little while as well. And um, so probably as the time of this video going out, I would anticipate that we should start to see another couple of green candles on the hours, uh, on the hourly chart here, as we start to potentially set another new all time high just up here. Okay, probably going up to, um, if I'm realistically speaking, probably about 262, something in that range there, and um, before another kind of small pullback. But, you know, we could actually go right up there and much, much higher. Um, but we've got loads of room to grow. So really now what we're looking for is good volume. Right now we can see a decrease in volume, loss of momentum here for ADA. Um, so what we're trying to find now is an increase in that momentum as we increase our stochastic, right? So um, basically all at the point of being overbought up here, we had that loss of momentum. Now we're down to the oversold area. We're looking for an appreciation in volume as an appreciation in price occurs. Um, so everything's to play for here on the hourly which really does back up what we're seeing here inside of our daily chart with in terms of the stochastic and again in line with what we're talking about here on that weekly chart from a stochastic point of view as well everything is starting to line up quite nicely for a nice run on cardano and um, so as long as uh, the sentiment stays the same um, we should start to see more appreciation before we are completely aligned with an overbought scenario and, and then awaiting another pullback um, on the charts. Um, so guys, I really wanted to kind of keep this a nice kind of brief uh, update on Cardano's ADA and the price appreciation that has been going on there. Um, but if you have found it useful, informative, then do go ahead and hit the like button. I appreciate that. Make sure you subscribe if you are new, tap the bell and select all notifications and you will not miss another Cardano update. Guys, with this said, done and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one.